Hi, I'm Bing Yao, Investment Analyst at Miri Asset. EV sector saw a faster growth in the last five years, which boosts the demand for EV battery equipment. China has become the largest producer with the top two players of Wuxi Lead and Shenzhen Yinhe. Naturally, people came up with the question why Chinese makers are leading. Today, we would like to firstly give a brief introduction of EV battery equipment industry in our EV series. A typical EV battery production line consists of three parts, front-end equipment of mixing, coating, rolling and slitting machines, middle-end of winding, stacking, assembling, tab welding, electrolyte filling and sealing machines, and finally back-end stage of formation, agent, grading and testing systems. Front-end equipment is sort of similar to commodity with less entry mode in technology, while middle-end and back-end equipment are indeed involved with know-how to improve production efficiency, yield, and accuracy. However, it's not very challenging high-tech or unachievable confidential. What really matters is cost or EV battery capital expenditure, which plays a vital role in battery makers' cost control. Generally, Cost matters sometimes even more than technology innovation in massive production, as long as no new technology significantly helps with cost cut. Raw materials account for roughly 85% of the whole production cost and label for high single-digit percent. Obviously, plentiful metal products in China, for example, PCB, capacitance, and sensor, are cheap endowments to Chinese manufacturers. In addition, average manufacturing label cost is only 12,000 US dollars per year, and annual compensation to engineers could be as low as to 28,000 US dollars. Both are very competitive compared to developed countries. What's more, EV battery industry clusters in China also help with Chinese equipment makers' leading position. Companies including CATL, Goshen, EVE Energy, and BYD account for over 75% of global EV battery capacities. Compared to Korean or Japanese peers, Chinese battery equipment makers are much closer to downstream demand to promptly respond and upgrade products, improve production yield, and save costs due to economy of scale and shorter logistics distance. In conclusion, global EV sales growth supports long-term booming of EV battery and battery equipment industries. Chinese EV battery equipment makers are the key beneficiary as a result. They built up their competitiveness thanks to cheap raw materials, manufacturing labor and engineers, coupled with efficient collaboration with Chinese EV battery makers. Thank you for watching.